so this is our late 2018 mid-range Tesla Model 3 that we're about to take on a 216 mile day trip and we're gonna try to see if we can make it all the way to our destination from Chula Vista to Newport Beach without recharging it so right now the max charge is 251 miles and we are at 237 as you can see we're still an hour and 10 minutes away from starting our trip and I set the app to finish recharging at exactly the time that we were gonna head out it's just best to not leave the battery at hundred percent for too long because it might degrade the battery if you do it too often so every once in a while it's fine but I'm just extra cautious with the battery since it's the most expensive part of the car um, so I just really want to make sure to take care of it really well so calculating our trip of roughly 216 miles and comparing it to the 251 miles that we have in the battery we should have about 35 miles to spare but we are making a quick stop somewhere else to pick up food and we're gonna have four people in the car it's very hilly here in Southern California so that takes up more battery and we'll probably be using some AC because it's really sunny here so all those factors combined could affect the battery performance from the rated battery capacity of 251 miles but so far in the two years that we've had the car the battery has been pretty accurate there's been no issues so we're gonna try to see if we can make the whole trip in a single charge and if not it's no big deal we can stop at a supercharger for a few minutes and we'll show you how that goes but it'll be really fun to see if we can squeeze every last mile out of this battery let's reset this and rename it Chula Vista to Newport so according to the trip calculator the round trip will leave us with negative five percent battery which means we will have to stop along the way but this is interesting because it looks like the trip computer is actually accounting for all the hills uh, the hill climbs and downhills that we'll have along the way which is good because that'll make it more accurate and more conservative rather than to think we have more miles than we actually have as you can see we traveled 110 miles and there's 127 miles left on the battery All right, so that was fun, but now it's time to make the trip back home. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it says we will make it home with about 3% battery left, which is kind of cutting it close. And at the top, I have a yellowish green warning telling me that I have to keep the speed under 60 miles per hour, which is kind of funny, but it's also kind of dangerous. So I don't know if it's better to just make a quick stop at a charging station. What would you guys do if you were in this situation? Let me know in the comments. So we made a quick pit stop at the Costco that was right off the highway in Carlsbad. So I don't think it's going to take a lot of battery, but now I am a little bit nervous that we're not going to make it in one charge and we're going to have to stop somewhere else to fill up the battery. So now we're back in the car and when I press to navigate home, the computer automatically has me stopping at a supercharger so I guess we're not gonna make it in one charge but that's okay which honestly I don't really mind that much because it's so convenient and this one in particular was at the top of a parking structure by a Del Mar mall and it was really empty because it was nighttime aside from the other Tesla's charging which is kind of cool you get to see all the other Tesla's that are there the different colors and you even get to see some custom Teslas every now and then that are wrapped, such as this one that's kind of satin, kind of matte. It's really cool, it gives you some ideas for if you want to customize your own Tesla. By the way, something weird happened that we got this cold battery warning, even though we're in Southern California and it's 57 degrees outside. So if you live in a colder climate, that's also something to watch out for. Another important thing to know about superchargers is that they're not all the same. This one, for example, is 72 kilowatt hours, which is the lowest one that Tesla has. Um, and you can find 150 kilowatt hour ones as well as 250 kilowatt hour ones for the new ones, 
which are obviously the fastest ones, the higher, the faster. But honestly, 52 is plenty fast. And for us, for our purposes, we only need a few miles. So this will only take about 10 minutes. As you can see on the stats here, if we wanted to charge up to 80 or 90%, it would take about 45 minutes at 284 miles per hour charge. So, I mean, you can tell that's obviously already really quick. All right, so now we have 70 miles of range and we're ready to roll. So that was an exhausting trip, but fortunately we made it back home with 30 miles to spare and only 10 minutes at the supercharger. So it wasn't too bad. The lesson I take away from this is that sure, maybe we could have pulled off the whole trip without stopping at the supercharger, but that's a little bit nerve wracking. So it's just better to stop by a nearby supercharger and the trip computer will automatically find the most convenient one and then just stay there for about 10 minutes and get back on the road. And I feel like for the amount of time that we were driving, it was a much needed rest and stretch stop anyways. So it ends up working out just fine. So um, that's all for this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you wanna see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thank you, bye-bye.